What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and today we here with Game Boy Jones again with a Sasuke rap song, Ghost Sharingan. I don't know why I did this, <laughs> featuring 3Z. Now, don't. I've always said this that if even if I've never heard somebody before. If they have mixed or max sword or produced before, then I might know them. But as far as rapping, not once heard him. So with Thrizzy, I don't know why I'm thinking, even if I've never heard him rap before, but I've seen him produce before. But does he ever rap before, especially featured on Game Boy? I don't know. But Game Boy have this, but one thing I've noticed whenever Game Boy goes to features and such, he be getting particular names that really, in a way, he's how Dizzy ate when he comes to features. He be bringing in some new people, in a way, maybe to me and such, that I've never heard of before. Or is my first, or I've never heard of before. But basically saying about how it's my first time hearing them. And who knows, maybe they might excite me. Because he done it with Jive before, because it wasn't my first time hearing Jive. He sounded fire. So let's see how 3Z sounds. So we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Who knows? He might be my favorite. Right. So mixed in. Now it says it's now it said it was mixed and mixed by Char by 3Z and such, but mastered by Jono. So who did the production? Who did the production though by foreign foreign sounds? All right, here yeah, it sounds. Excuses, you haven't seen my life. I'm seeing how you move, like I got the shot and gun. Mm. Make up for my past, I do the most. Mm. Sacrifice the things I wish were close. Mm. I know I deserve to be alone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Even when around, I'm still a ghost. I was stuck in the night. Now I finally see the light. Been alone all my life. Cold mm -hmm. in my way. Red eyes my best to try to change. Time to Hold up a second. Okay, so he a vocalist and such. He can say singer and such. But hold up. Did not expect that type of that type of soft singing and such. Hold up. Even when around I'm still a ghost. I was stuck in the night. Hi. Now I finally see the light. Hi. Been alone all my life. In my ways, red eye full of rage. Do my best to try to change. Time to pick up the pace. Always down for the chase. Mm. In the middle of being a loner mm. and being a father, you need. Hey, yeah. mm. cause I'm going through, I can try showing you, but it won't teach you a thing. Yeah, mm. Mm. feel the pain in my soul. Hope you won't have to go through that. My mm. brother showed me that you gotta let go of the past. This ain't what I asked to be. It's what I have to be. Like mm. such a catastrophe. I made my bed. I'm reacting. Bye. Mommy, I'm reacting. Bye. Nothing is in here for you. Go. <laughs> but this is why I locked the door. This is why I locked the door on her ass. Because she always wants to come in here and interrupt me when I'm reacting. But anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by her. And look, don't go in the comments, y'all. 
don't say it's disrespectful, whatever and such, because it's not. Y'all have seen every time she's always coming here and interrupt my reactions. So I want to hear it. Anyway, back to this. Try not to lose my head, double every looking at the past like damn, I can bury it. I see through the bullshit, I see through the lies. You live in an illusion. Lizzie did his thing, I ain't gonna lie. I don't care about excuses, you haven't seen my life. I'm seeing how you move like I got the shot. Make up for my past, I do the most. And also. If y'all was wondering what she was talking about, y'all probably not hearing the background noise, but she was basically talking about some freaking Cheerios and such, like freaking snacks. I don't need snacks right now. I even got some shit. I got some cookies right here. What's she talking about? I need snacks for. I got snacks for myself. Damn right. <laughs> Why is it always when people do scas sask I was about to say Sasuke Sasuke songs and such, right? And even though it's a rap song, right? Now I'm not now look, knowing how Sasuke's story is and such, right? With the hatred of his brother the bro but his brother wanted to keep it as didn't want to tell him the real reason and all that. But I'm just saying, even though I get it, it's a sad song and all. Y'all do realize Sasuke can be a savage nigga too. That's just how that's how I look at it. Like I get it. I get the sad part of his whole thing, right? But we all have different emotions, so that. For well, shit sure, Sasuke, not all the time was he ever sad. So, that's just me. That's just me how I look at it. Now, I don't want nobody killing me in the comments about how, What you mean, nigga? Just blow up. Blow up. Pause. Bro, all I'm saying is, right? You don't always gotta be sad and such. Now, I'm not taking nothing away from the song. That's one thing I'm not doing. I appreciate, I love the song, don't get it twisted, but all I'm saying is, even through character, even through animes, cartoons, whatever and such, right? There's multiple people who have different personalities, same way with life. Not everything you go through in life have to be sad. You can be sad for certain points, you can be happy, you can be confused. It's just basically how you move on in life. So... Me personally, right? Like I say, nothing wrong with. Hey, we all. I've always. I've had this saying: different people live different lifestyles. So maybe I'm not on the level of how a Sasuke type of person is and such. But what I can say is, you can't just live your life through sadness or vengeance or whatnot. Because at the end of the day, you got one life. You can't just live it in one particular mood. You gotta experience all the moods. Happy, sadness, and such. But, like I said, that's just me. So, don't kill me in the comments for having my opinion on that and such. Because I know damn well, with, with the world we live in now, you can't even say an opinion. Because they're going to either think you're full of bigotry or hatred for anything. Which is crazy. I don't know. I don't know why... I, we come, we come for a Game Boy Jones song. We came here for a Game Boy Jones reaction for me, and I'm talking about freaking. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. I like the bouncing the story. Little 
just shout out Orochimaru saying I was running with snakes. That was the end of me here. I mean, what do you expect? If you run with a snake, you're bound to get bit by that snake. I was Talking about that PSD type vibe in search, cause nigga, can, can you? It's basically like this: we all live certain pe even if you don't have it in search, you get you get little glints of like people who have PTSD for something. Cause let's think about it: most people who go to the military and when they come back, even though they've seen like war and such, people get PTSD from that. Even gangsters, PT, they get PTSD from that. But not even just those type of things. People can also get PTSD from certain things that happen through their life. And it doesn't even have to be about war or in the streets or whatnot. So, hey. That line about something in your head feels like a century. How would it go? The war inside my head. My, my head, head yeah. like century. century. Yeah. It's crazy. Hey. And don't get me wrong, right? Like I said, do not get me wrong when I say this. The all right. So for the song itself, right? The song itself, it was a nice, it was smooth. It was really emotional, right? Tell on the emotional part of how the with the conflict between him and his brother or him and his family rather. But like I said, right? We all have we all can't just live through life through one emotion. Now maybe I don't understand 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 that person's like whole entire thing right but what i am trying to say is at the end of the day i'm just saying through my point of view that certain things you gotta move i'm not trying to say forget it or anything right because you can't forget certain things like that but what i am trying to say is at least move on with your life. Try to try to look at the happy things that's going through your life and such. That is what I'm saying. But either way, right? It's so crazy. It's basically like this. I was expecting, but then again, like I said, it's a Sasuke song. So nine times out of ten, whenever any other rapper, nerdcore rapper, does a Sasuke song, typically gonna be some sad stuff. But hey, it depends on how it's put and with game boy m and 3c shout out to him he the way how he was singing on that that was a cool little singing and such not gonna lie but either way it was a cool little song and such hopefully for the next one and such he got goes back to that turn up energy but like i said this was a cool little song hopefully y'all like it and such and y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below and look for again during this reaction if y'all at this point, y'all know my mom by now. And thank God now that I have a lock on my door so I can lock her ass out. <laughs> and it's not no disrespect. It's not disrespecting her. So sometimes, look, if I'm, re if I'm doing her, I don't want when I'm doing a reaction and I'm getting lit and such, she comes out of nowhere and ruins it. That's how I feel. But either way. Let me know what you thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. And if you made it to the end of this reaction, comment down below. Mm, comment down below. Move on. And that makes me know you made it to the end. But like I said, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.